episode six, do not resuscitate. <laughs> yeah. Um, happy March 1st. So this, uh, this episode, it, uh, it starts in the hospital where but a couple episodes back, they were basically saying that Sophia's issue, her biggest issue was she did not want, Sophia didn't want these magical cure flowers getting out into the public because she was like, people are gonna start, you know, using other people's blood and they're gonna start, you know, they're gonna try to like, you know, repl replicate the cure. And that's exactly what's happening here. Um, there's a doctor, he, you know, he found out that, you know, like the miracle cure that came from, you know, that came from Mary's blood, you know, like it cured like a whole bunch of other different diseases. So they're trying to, you know, like they're trying to duplicate that. So they found a kid who got a, who got hit with the with the original serum? They took his blood, tried to replicate it. It didn't work. This guy starts freaking out. So now the doctor, the doctor is obsessed now with trying to get this magical cure. Not so much so he can save lives, so because he can become rich and famous. So there's this patient that's in his medical facility. The patient has he has like cancer to the brain. He's a little crazy, little off his rocker. You know, he has like enhanced strength for <laughs> like for some weird reason. And the doctor purposely like let this guy out of the out of the loony bin. And he told him that, hey, listen, there there is a cure out there for you, but we don't have it here. The person that has the cure that you need is Mary Hamilton, so you need to find her. So let this lunatic out of, out, out of the hospital. He runs up on Mary and he runs up on Jacob. You know, he um he runs their car over, knocks them both out, drags them to Mary's um, you know, Mary's makeshift clinic, and then he's, you know, he's 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 running up, you know, he's like, you know, trying to get the trying to get the information from them so Mary can make him a cure. Mary basically tells him like there is no more cure and it doesn't work from like bloodstream to bloodstream. She said that the cure is only effective when it comes from the original host. She was the original host, the blood is out of her system now. If you do it from the next person, it won't work. So now he's freaking out. And Jacob came the whole time, he's just like, well, first of all, like where the hell are we? And then she, you know, that's when Mary told him, she was like, well, this is my clinic. And I forgot, when Mary told him that, I was like, he still doesn't know, like does he? <laughs> like they never, he never, the clinic never got brought up. So now he's finding out about the clinic. So now he's mad. He's like, you're operating without a license, Mary. And then she's like, but I'm saving people. And then like, they're going through their whole thing. Meanwhile, the guy's freaking out because he's just like, you're gonna give me the cure or Jacob Kane's gonna die or whatever. So, you know, so they're, like I said, so they're, they're, they're tied up, they're trapped there. Um, Ryan, <laughs> you know, she's, um, she's getting her bat on. She's out there, you know, like busting up, you know, she's doing, she's doing great work. Like, you know, even, even the mysterious radio host is talking about you know like Batwoman 2.0 you know like she's got big shoes to fill but she's but she's handled it she's taking down criminals doing the damn thing protecting Gotham but she's still affected by the kryptonite as shown in the last episode you know because like the the spread like the the disease spread is getting bigger you know so you know so she's but she's still dealing with that she's still able to get the job done and so the next day like she's at work you know like while she's at work like her girlfriend shows up two of them are talking and you know they're you know Ryan's trying to get her girlfriend to stop selling drugs because she's selling drugs to like elitist people like rich people social influence whatever she's trying to get her to like you know to stop that and you know go for it you know go for the the simple life so she comes up with an idea to get the girl a job working you know working with her at the bar you know so but but the girl like the like her girlfriend she's kind of like you know she's like but I'm good at selling drugs she's like I like selling drugs so I don't think I want to go legit you know quote unquote but you know Ryan's still trying to talk her into it um Sophie now she's trying to figure out she's still looking for the painting because we're still trying to find this painting the painting that the painting that leads to the island Cory coriander Corian the, the the painting that leads to the island where you know where Kate where Kate's supposedly being held Sophie finds out that ocean He's he 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 handles in like illegal drugs as well, and some of the drugs that Ocean produces, Ryan's girlfriend happens to sell, you know, like on the streets. So Sophie goes down to the bar to go talk to Ryan and get Ryan's help. And this was very funny because I love every interaction with um with Ryan <laughs> with Ryan and Sophie. And when you know when she walked into the bar, you know Sophie was just like you know she was like oh I need your help you know with, with a, we, I need your help with a case that I'm working on. And then she, <laughs> Ryan's just like she's like I ain't here that she's like. I ain't trying to help you, Crofy. When she called her Crofy, I almost died. That shit was hilarious. And it's like, I can't unhear that now. So, but you know, she said that she, you know, Sophie said that she has a file on Ryan's girlfriend, but she was like, you know, your girlfriend's the small fish. She was like, I want the big fish. I'm looking for ocean. She was just like, if you can take this device and use it to, this device will turn your girlfriend's cell phone into a speaker where I can hear and listen to her conversation so I can find this ocean guy. She's like, you do me this favor, you help me catch ocean, I'll give you the file that we have on your girlfriend, it'll disappear, she'll have a clean slick. So Ryan trying to protect her girlfriend, she's like, all right, cool, she'll, you know, she'll do it. When Ryan was talking to her girlfriend later, you know, 
she like the kryptonite the kryptonite poison ended up kicking in like ryan hit the floor you know and she was she started like seeing things like the room started spinning and then once the once the room started spinning you know her girlfriend ran into the bathroom to go like get her medicine and while she went to go get the medicine um ryan used the device that sophie gave her to you know to to turn the girlfriend's phone into you know like into a speaker where sophie could listen so she said you know so she set her up and then the girl you know like the, she gives the girl the medicine sophie takes the medicine the girl goes to sell her drugs and then everything is it's all gravy so ryan now so now sophie sophie has the information and she knows where ocean is she's going down to bust ocean's ass um ryan now she's at the bat cave researching you know the kryptonite because she's researching what kryptonite is because this thing's getting really worse now like the whole the radiation the poison everything like it's getting really bad so ryan's researching it now and at this point she pretty much knows that she's dying because she she because it said that the back the back computer actually said that the kryptonite is made from unknown elements that aren't on earth she's completely freaking out now luke shows up and then he's just like hey you know like you haven't checked in all day and then she's just like yeah you know she's like i was just dealing with some stuff so now they're talking about they're talking about the map again luke was just like yeah you know i'm working with sophie on something you know because alice had some information you know that we can use to get to to get to corian coriander and then ryan was just like hold up like what you mean alice <laughs> and then luke was like yeah he was like remember a couple of weeks couple of weeks ago you know when alice ran up on you know when i went to go when i went to sophie's house alice was there she held a gun to my head and you know and then ryan was like yeah and after she held the gun to your head you and sophie took her down called the cops and got that bitch arrested right right and then luke was just like uh yeah about that so now <laughs> so now ryan is pissed because she's just like you're working with the bitch who killed my mom and, you know and i i need i need ryan and and luke to get on the same page it's been six episodes now <laughs> and the two of them just, they had a good moment in the last episode where he confided into her about the crows and then like she put the head on the shoulder i, I thought the two of them like kind of like worked some stuff out but you know there's still like uh, there's still like a roadblock there because she still feels that luke doesn't you know like believe in her or trust her like 100 percent. you know so the two of them are arguing and he's just like look you know because he's trying to find kate but she was just like oh but alice you know killed my mama while the two of them are arguing um mary ends up calling luke or Lucas, because the guy that has her, her and Jacob tied up, you know, because what, what happened was Mary at that point, you know, in an effort to save Jacob Kane's life, Mary basically told the guy about the island. She told the guy that, yes, there is a cure for you, but it doesn't exist in Gotham. It's on an island. There's a map to the island. I can get you the map. Just don't kill my dad. So they end up calling Luke, you know, and then, you know, Mary was, you know, she was, she was very, she was very slick about it. She called him. She was like, Lucas, she was like, I need you to fly down here like a bat out of hell and bring, bring the map because my dad is here and we desperately need some assistance. So, you know, Ryan heard the call, like Ryan and Luke was on the call. They put two and two together. She was just like, first of all, she would never tell her dad about the clinic. And then Luke was like, yeah, she's never called me Lucas like ever in life. So <laughs> they're like, obviously she's in trouble. So Ryan is on her way to, um, you know, to go help. But then the kryptonite kicks in, she hits the floor, you know, Luke tries to help her, you know, Luke finally sees the damn, um, the damn radiation poison. And, and then he's just like, why didn't you tell me? Cause she was just like, bro, like I just became Batwoman. I just got the bat suit. I begged you to let me put the bat suit on. And she was like, if I would have told you like the next day, like, oh, I need to take a sick day because I'm poisoned. She was like, that that just that would have just been one more thing on the list of reasons for you not to believe in me as Batwoman. You know, and then Luke kind of Luke kind of felt bad. And you know, like he felt bad after that. But at the same time, he's like, I ain't let you going out there, you know, you know, with radiation poison looking crazy. So he called Sophie and he was just like, Listen, you know, like, you know, Jacob Kane and Mary, they're being held up, you know, at the clinic. You need to go down there. Before Sophie went to the clinic, she actually found Ocean and she found Alice. She ran up on both of them, you know, held them at gunpoint, bust the cap in your ass. Sophie came back. She had the machine gun on them. Ocean gave up the painting. So now Sophie has the painting in her, in her possession and she's going down to the clinic to save Mary and save Jacob. When Sophie gets there, you know, she ends up, you know, holding the guy at gunpoint. The guy throws a chair at her, knocks Sophie down. You know, she ends up getting to a fight. Jacob ends up getting out of the ropes. He's fighting the guy. You know, Jacob gets knocked down and then Batwoman shows up. You know, she shows up, kicks the dudes behind. And then while she was fighting him, like the kryptonite poisoning kicked in again. And Luke told her before, he was like, listen, he was like, I do trust you. But he was just like, just to let you know, there's a shot of adrenaline in the suit. So he was just like, you say the word, I hit the button and, you know, like it'll boost you back up. So she used the adrenaline shot, you know, the, the adrenaline shot work. She kicked 
kicked the dude, she kicked the crazy dude's ass, knocked him down for the count. Batwoman saves the day and she's got the she's got the painting in her hand. So now we have the painting that will lead us to the island where Kate's being held, but they also need the painting because Luke found out that really the only thing that can cure Ryan with the kryptonite poisoning is the flower that grows on the same island where Kate's being where Kate's being held captive. So now they got the map in tow. But then, you know, some um some some white thugs <laughs> show up out of nowhere. They got a gun to Sophie's head and they tell Batwoman they're like, you know, hand over the map or we kill Sophie. So obviously Batwoman, you know, she's not going to let Sophie die, so she hands over the map. The guys that ran up on them for the map, that was they obviously work for the doctor cuz those weren't Sophia's people. Like those weren't Sophia henchmen. Those people worked you know, work for the doctor. So the doctor who's trying to get this magical cure, he's gonna come into play more as the seasons progress because now he has the map. And in the next episode, we gotta get the map from him, you know, in order to, you know, like in order to save Kate and to save Ryan as well. So now back at the bar, her girlfriend comes back in pissed because she's just like, oh, my phone's been acting weird all day. And then I found out that you put some bug spyware on it. And then she was just like, babe, but I was trying to save you. I was trying to save you from getting locked up. The crows are on you. And then she was just like, I can't trust you. And then the two of them get mad, you know, and then like she gets mad and walks away. Sophie was actually listening to the whole conversation. <laughs> and then Sophie felt bad too. And you know, I need Sophie and Ryan to come to like, uh, it, it's, it's so weird because, you know, Sophie, knows that Kate was Batwoman. Sophie works, has worked with Luke and Mary. Sophie continues to work with Luke and Mary. Ryan is working with Luke and Mary. And it's just like, the four of you are work. as like, I feel like at this point, they should just bring Sophie in on the whole thing because the whole like, the Ryan, Sophie, it's just like, it's too weird because all of y'all are working together. And there's too much beef between Sophie like Sophie and Batwoman have worked together, you know what I'm saying? But there, there's always like this underlying beef, you know, like, you know, like Sophie and Ryan, you know, like have beef. So I just, I, I need that to die. Like the whole, the Ryan, Sophie thing, I just needed to die a little bit. Like something needs to happen where Ryan, cause it's, you know, and the funny thing is it's not on Sophie. Sophie's actually reaching out to Batwoman. Sophie's actually trying to reach out to Ryan. Ryan's the one that's got the problem. And just like I thought Ryan settled her, well, Ryan kind of settled her beef a little bit more with Luke in this episode. I need Ryan, to, whatever issue Ryan has with Luke and Sophie, I just need that to come down just just, just, just a little bit, you know? But like I said, but Sophie felt bad because she busted up their relationship. So I, the two of them are clearly gonna have a conversation about that at some point. Luke was talking to Mary and then, you know, he was just like, listen, we, we, we don't have any leads now. We don't have the map. We don't know where Alice is. We will never, and the only place where Kate is and where the flower is, you know, just ran off, you know, what with those thugs and like, you know, we like we're stuck, like we're in a bad place. And then he then he also said he was just like, you know, Ryan's been fighting crime for like six weeks now and she's been under the influence of the kryptonite poisoning and she didn't say a word. He's like, but she still she still saved the city. She still out went out there and she she still fought for, you know, for Gotham. And he was just like, damn, he was just like, you know, like I have been giving her a hard time and she is a hero and I gotta start recognizing that. So hopefully, like I said, so hopefully the Luke the Luke Ryan beef hopefully dies now, now that Luke's come to that come to that revelation. Um, Mary, you know, and Jacob get into it because now that Jacob knows about the clinic, he's just like, oh, I'm shutting it down, Mary. And then she's like, but you can't do that. He's like, it's, it's illegal. I'm shutting it down. So now like she's mad at him. <laughs> like, like she's like, she's mad at him. The two of them got beef. So now moving on to Alice. Alice, Alice and um, Ocean, they're basically together. Like they're still trying to sort through their memories. And this was really funny because there was a moment where um, the two of them had touched hands and they saw a memory where the two of them were like holding hands and like sitting by a campfire and kissing and making out. And then, you know, Alice was just like, do you know what this means? And he's just like, you know, he's just like, he's just like, you know, yeah. He was, you know, she was just like, at some point, the two of us had a thing, like we were a couple, we were an item, you know, like when we were on the island together. And then he was just like, nah, like, I, nah. <laughs> he's like, me and you, no. And then the look on Alice's face, she looked so, like, I actually felt bad for Alice. Like, she just looked so dejected. She was just like, well, damn, you know? <laughs> She's like, is being with me really that bad? You know, and he's just like, nah, bitch. <laughs> you know, way hell me and you had something. So now she's upset. She calls Sophia and then she's like, she's kind of, she's heartbroken, you know, she calls Sophia and she's like, oh, was that your plan to have, you know, to have me kill the man that I used to have a flame with? And then she's just like, I've done nothing of the sort, dear. You know, she was just like, but well, extract your revenge, kill him so you could reclaim your system. You know, so then Alice actually does take a, you know, take a swipe at him. She tries to kill him. The two of them end up, you know, like rustling and tussling. And while they're fighting, memories come back for both of them to the point where now 
they're both they both like remember now like they were well i don't know if they remember 100 percent, but they damn sure remembered a lot more than they both did like the memory a lot of memories came back so now they're both kind of like on the same page as far as you know what they used to have as far as like you know being an item you know so then they come up with a plan because we got to remember alice is still the queen when it comes to creating false faces for people so she created a false face for for ocean put it on some random dude she stabbed the random dude called sophia and then she was just like oh come get your come send come send your bestie to come pick up the body of ocean and then she was just like i'll be there right away dear then you should have your sister back so you know and then after she hangs up the phone ocean comes walking around the corner you know and then he's just like wow he's like wow you're one crazy bitch <laughs> so you know and then that's how the show ended so Alice and Ocean, like I said, like they got their memories back. They're in cahoots now. They're going to basically what's going to happen is when Sophia's minions show up to pick up the body, to pick up Ocean's body, um, Ocean and Alice are going to run up on that person. They're going to use that person to get back to the island and they're going to run up on Sophia so they can try to save Kate and find out why Sophia wiped their memories to begin with as well. Um, as far as the bat team goes, they're going to have to go after the doctor now, you know, because like I said, the doctor hired those goons, in my opinion, to steal that painting. So he's the, he's the one that's going to have the painting in his possession. So they got to take down Hamilton Dynamics so they can find out, you know, like where the map is because we're because now it's not even about Kate anymore. Like it's not about oh, we need the map so we can save Kate. We need the map so we can save Kate and also save Ryan, who is dying of kryptonite po who's dying of kryptonite poisoning. So that's like top priority. I did see in the coming attractions, first of all, like we don't come back until, what's today? Today's the first. We don't come back until like mid-March, like the 14th or the 15th or something like that. So um, we're actually gonna get like a week or two break, you know, from like the, the good old CW, <laughs> CW breaks. So we're getting a break from Batwoman, but when we come back, there's actually gonna be a showdown between Alice and Ryan, which I think is gonna be really cool because not only are we getting a showdown between Alice and Ryan or like Alice and Batwoman, Ryan actually takes the like takes the mask off and lets lets you know Alice know who she is. Which is fine because I mean people may make a big deal. They're like, oh why would she unmask herself? Alice doesn't know who she is. Like Alice doesn't know who she is Alice, like 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 not to say it like that, but Ryan isn't important. Like, <laughs> she doesn't have family. Like, you know, she's living on the street. She's homeless. She was homeless. Like, no one cares about Ryan. So if Ryan shows her identity to, to Alice, <laughs> it's not, it's not going to matter. So, but, you know, but she did tell it. But I did see the scene where she was just like, you know, you had, you, you know, you had my mom killed, bitch, and I'm going to kill you to get my revenge. So that's going to be interesting because... Luke's at a point now where he's trying to give her the benefit of the doubt and now she's back on the kill train. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll definitely, we'll definitely see what happens there, you know, and like and how all the other relationships unfold because, and whatever happened, what happened to Julia? <laughs> like, you know, like in the beginning, I was saying that, you know, one thing I liked about the show in season two is that despite the fact that Kate is gone, they found a way to keep all of the actors still relevant with something to do. It's not like, hey, now that Ryan's the new Batwoman, we got to get rid of everybody who had something to do with Kate. We found things for everybody else to do but i guess in the end someone had to get the short end of the stick and it ended up <laughs> ended up being julia i don't know if julia still works for the crows i don't know if she's like on the independent circuit but yeah and, and her exit was never explained it was just like julia just gone so <laughs> we'll see we'll see if she makes a comeback at some point or maybe she ends up on the island you know trying to help out with the sophia kate situation so uh thank you for tuning in cool episode of batwoman but like i said when we return the fireworks begin you know it's gonna be um like i said it's gonna be the showdown between Batwoman woman and alice or ryan and alice and i'm definitely looking forward to that so leave a comment below let me know what you think what's going on with the storylines like as far as like you know alice and ocean is concerned you know is there something deeper when the two of them get to the island like what's the end game here and again are we getting a ruby rose cameo because we're setting this whole thing up now they're literally telling us kate and, and like they they made they made kate's disappearance be that more important because now now that Ryan is dying and Ryan is Batwoman, the flower that we need to save Batwoman is also on the same island where the original Batwoman is. You can't do one without the other. So we'll see what happens. So like I said, thank you for tuning in. Um, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is your first time coming. If you haven't already, hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come up because we got Superman and Lois coming up. We got Black Lightning coming up. You know, we're closing out WandaVision at the end of the week and the flash starts on Tuesday. So that's it, guys, for Batwoman for episode episode six till episode seven y'all keep that bat positivity alive keep it going and until next time i'm out this bitch <laughs>